If you're watching this video, you probably are in the possession of Elgato Stream Deck Plus and you are wondering how to set it up for Final Cut Pro. Well, this is exactly what I have done. Uh, I purchased my Elgato Stream Deck Plus and I have spent quite a bit of time trying to set it up. So I'm going to show you all of the tips and tricks that I have learned in this video. So make sure to stick until the end. So uh, Elgato Stream Deck Plus is really cool because it has these knobs uh, and it allows you to also scroll between different uh, pages. So you can, even though you have only eight buttons, you can just scroll uh, between pages. So this is really great uh, if you are trying to set it up for Final Cut Pro. So how do you do it? So the first thing is that you just go to elgato.com uh, and then downloads. Uh, you grab uh, the Stream Deck software and you mm, install it. Uh, and then you can already start setting it up. But there's also Elgato Marketplace. So over here, if you just search for Final Cut Pro, uh, you will find a couple of uh, different useful things. The most useful thing is this Final Cut Pro icon sampler. Uh, over here, you can just grab 72 free icons made specifically for Final Cut Pro. So this is um, extremely uh, helpful, I would say. Uh, and it's also free. So you can just uh, click on get and um, just install it. And then these icons will be available in your um, Stream Deck Plus software. But then you also have uh, 600 icons. So um, for that, you also, <laughs> you already need to pay. But if you want to like get really granular and set everything up, then it's like $12. I think it's uh, worth it. Uh, but I'm just uh, trying to keep things simple here. So I didn't really uh, have the need to mm, download all of these like 600 icons. Okay. And then finally, you also have Final Cut Pro uh, profile for Stream Deck Plus. So over here you have like these uh, different profiles uh, that you can set up. Mm, so this is also great if you are mm, considering <laughs> like going really crazy with video editing, okay? So I will leave links to uh, these things in this description so you can check them out. But then once you install your uh, Elgato Stream Deck, you will have this icon over here and then you just click on it, configure Stream Deck and you have uh, different profiles that you can set up. So um, you have the default profile, but you can just click on edit profiles and then add one for Final Cut Pro. And once you uh, go to Final Cut Pro, it will automatically switch to that profile. So this is really cool. Um, it really improves your workflow. Okay, and you have the ability to set up uh, many pages over here. So I'm just using two pages because as I said, mm, I like to keep things simple. And I will tell you about all of these uh, different mm, functions that I have set up in a second, but first, like, how do you set it up? The first thing is that you just click on one of these buttons and then you just uh, click on the plus icon. And if you downloaded these uh, free icons, you can just like scroll down and you have uh, all of these icons uh, available over here. Uh, so you can uh, also assign your own icon if you don't find the right function or you can buy the 600 icon uh, pack. Uh, but let's say that we want to uh, assign something like add basic title. So you would just click on it and then you just need to assign the right hotkey that you have set up in um, Final Cut Pro for this particular function. Okay, so if we just go to Final Cut Pro, you just press Option Command K and you will go to um, this command editor. Okay, or you can just go to a fire, uh, sorry, um, command sets and then customize. Yeah, so that's over here. Uh, so then let's say that we want to do something like add caption, right? So that's uh, like option C. So then you would just go to um, over here and 
search for something like caption and we have add caption, right? So you just assign that particular icon over here and then mm, option uh, C and that's basically how it works. Okay, uh, but mm, what kind of specific uh, functions did I assign? So mm, add default transition, this is extremely uh, helpful. Add basic title, uh, video effect, mm, like basic video effect. I will show this to you in a second, like exactly uh, how it works in practice, okay? Then I have pro zoom, audio fades, audio effect, like default audio effect, balance color, uh, toggling between inspector and the color wheels. So you can also just uh, set up this kind of toggle. So uh, if I press it once, then it will apply this kind of particular uh, shortcut. But if I press it the next time, it will uh, add this, um, it will use this other command, right? And then on the second one, uh, I have multicam, remove effects, show vector scope, insert gap, compound clip, expand audio, full screen, and then export. But in Final Cut Pro, you also have these really, really cool I, um, knobs. Uh, sorry, in uh, Stream Deck, you have these knobs, right? So the first knob is like jumping between clips. The second knob is uh, changing clip height. The third one is zooming. And the fourth one is clip volume. Uh, okay, so what kind of um, commands uh, did I assign here? I mean, what was the rationale here? Uh, it was like the ones that I don't really want to remember because in Final Cut Pro, I have uh, these different commands that I remember really easily, like um, Q and W, that's like trim start and trim end. Then one and two is like switching between camera angles. Mm, then three is like show hide effects browser, then transitions browser mm, and background tasks. Mm, and of course you have like the, you know, freeze frame and uh, the blade tool. So these are all like really easy uh, to remember. So for example, W, uh, Q, then I have like three for effects, four for transitions, five for uh, background tasks. Then you have like uh, command R for changing uh, the speed um, and so on and so forth. Um, so these are like really easy to remember, but since I'm not using Final Cut Pro every day, uh, I don't want to remember some of these uh, other ones. Uh, so it's really great to just have an icon and just press a button and it's done. Okay, so uh, let me just show you mm, really quickly how it works. Uh, so let me just cut it into a few pieces over here. So first the knobs, right? Uh, the first knob is like jumping between clips. This is really mm, extremely helpful to just quickly uh, just uh, jump around the project. Then we have clip height. Uh, so this is really great if you just want to mm, see it more clearly or uh, just work with audio uh, a little bit, so clip height. Then the third one is just zoom, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, and uh, finally, the fourth one is like clip volume. So you can just adjust the volume uh, of the clip with a knob, which is really cool. Okay, and then uh, we have uh, all of these uh, buttons, right, that I have assigned. So the first one is mm, add default transition. So it will just add a transition, right? Then we have mm, the second one, add basic title. This is like really fast, right? Then mm, add video effect. So I have this uh, picture in picture effect uh, set up over here. Then we have uh, the fourth one, pro zoom. So this is a really useful mm, plugin for uh, just zooming in uh, really easily. Uh, then uh, the fifth one is like apply audio fades. So you have these, uh, you know, just audio fades applied automatically. Then I have um, one for um, default audio effect. Uh, then the next one is for just balancing color. So just press a button and it will automatically ba um, balance the color. Then the next one is uh, inspector. 
a toggling between inspector and color wheels. So this is really helpful. So you don't have to always just click around these things over here. You know, you just uh, switch between them really easily. And then you just uh, basically uh, scroll with your button and, um, <laughs> I mean, finger, sorry. So you, you just scroll with your finger and you go to this second page over here, right? Um, so uh, over here we have multicam. So this is really great. Mm. Then we have remove effects. So if you just want to get rid of some effects, you just press that button. Then mm, show vector scope. Um, this is really great, right? If you want to do some uh, color correction. Uh, then insert gap. So I, I would never remember <laughs> like what is the, mm, you know, shortcut or command for insert gap, but then I just press a button and it's here. So this is extremely useful if you uh, are using the magnetic timeline. Then we have compound clip, uh, expand audio. So if you just want to detach the audio, get rid of the audio or whatever. And then we have a uh, full screen. Uh, so this is really great if you uh, just want to preview uh, the project before uh, releasing it and make sure that like everything looks great. Mm, and finally, we have export. So mm, it will just automatically apply my uh, export preset. So instead of just like having to go here and then here, I can just press a button and it's already here. Okay, so that's like the basic overview of how I set up my L Gato Stream Deck Plus for Final Cut Pro. Um, please let me know in the comments if you um, have any other like setup tips. Uh, I would really uh, enjoy them and appreciate them because I'm still just trying to um, set it up myself. Uh, but I think this basic setup is working really well. I've been experimenting with it uh, quite a bit. So. If you liked this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And I'm going to see you in the next one.